what's going on everybody it is jamie and welcome to the channel thrift on fire and welcome to day four of a video every single day in february now full transparency here some of these videos have been pre-recorded so you know if you have the idea that i'm uh, editing videos every single day to put up that's not exactly true some days it will be that but you know other days this might have happened a couple of days ago when you're watching it now now in today's video we're going to clean up my funko collection that is listed online and make sure what i have is actually what's listed we're also going to clean up the ebay room a little bit we're going to pack pull and ship some orders and i'm going to share a little thrift haul that i did recently as well all right, so we were talking yesterday about the funko pops and these are the ones i just pulled these from the shelf in the ebay room there's a michael scott Angela Pickles, uh, Susie, also from Rugrats, and then Tommy from Rugrats, Tommy Pickles. This one's super cute. Uh, I do have all these as well, so I'm gonna just figure out which ones I still have. Then I'm gonna jump on eBay, make sure that I don't have any ones listed that shouldn't be, but I have to also cross it over with Poshmark and Etsy. So here's a better look of what I actually have. So we're gonna add these to the shelf. Uh, this is another LeBron James, so we're gonna put him back out. Uh, we're going to replace the BB-8 from yesterday. This is a uh, Nightmare Before Christmas um, Oogie Boogie and another Batwoman. Now, I still have, you can see there's four more Bat uh, Batwoman. There's another Tommy. There's another BB-8. There's another entire case of BB-8s. No longer have a Cheshire Cat. Uh, I think these are more LeBrons and one more Michael Scott. So I kind of forgot about these Kramers down here. Those were from the other day. So we got all we got Kramer added to the list, and then I went through everything. Everything's really added up, honestly. The only thing that I had an issue was was uh, eBay, Poshmark.ca, Poshmark.com all had a Cheshire Cat listed still. Everything else was fine. Everything else is listed properly. The other issue I found when I was looking in Etsy at Funko stuff that uh, Oogie Boogie skateboard was still listed there. I didn't delist it on Etsy, so I just did that as well. But now our Funkos are all up to date. We can put these ones back on the shelf and then we can put the ones in the box back here. We can put them back into the storage. So I'm gonna share a few things that I thrifted recently, but I was not filming. So first of all, we have this uh, women's North Face hoodie. Really nice, paid uh, $8 for this guy. Uh, it's in great condition. I'll throw a similar comp up, probably something like 30 bucks I'll get for that. Uh, I picked up two of these jerseys. Okay, so I paid $8 a piece for them there just Bauer Team Canada jerseys. I don't think they're gonna be worth a ton, but they will sell for sure. So I usually pick these up if I can find them for less than 10 bucks. And I, like I said, I got a pair. I got a white one and a red one. I could even sell them together if I really wanted to. They're both in really great shape and they're both size large. Also found this jacket for $11. Um, so it's definitely vintage and it's embroidered. So it's got these horses on the back. It's really, really cool. It's got these horses on the front or the horse on the front. And it's made by a company called, which I'm not familiar with, um, Midwest Garments. It's a Canadian company since 1929. Uh, this is definitely an old tag right here. If you take a look, I think it's a men's medium. Really nice jacket. Uh, it's heavy too. It's like canvassy. This, I don't know what it's going to be worth. I tried to look it up in store quick. I wasn't going to grab it. And then when I looked at it again, I'm like, wow, this thing is just too cool to leave for 10 bucks. I'll probably get, I don't even know, probably $50 or more for that, I think. But I'm really not sure either. So, And then I picked up two jerseys the other day. I paid up for these ones more, more around the $20 range here. They're both Buffalo Sabres. This one is an Adidas uh, size, I think it's size 54 which I think in my listing, I might've put it as a 52. So I should go back and edit that. I just, luckily that kind of fired my brain there to think there's something wrong. So I'm gonna fix that rate as soon as I'm done filming this. So this is a cool one. Um, yeah, nice jersey. And then this is another, uh, Bo I keep wanting to say Boston, geez. Buffalo Sabres jersey, just overwhelmed today. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so this is a size extra large. Now this one is a Reebok uh, size XL. They're both stitched. They're both in really, really nice condition. Uh, I will throw my listings up. I will correct the other one before I do that. But I think I'm gonna get, I hope to get about 75 bucks a piece for these. So my wife and I found all that stuff this morning and then we had a little breakfast date. <laughs> And then she had to go to work and then I came home and had to finish filming this and we're gonna get to some shipping right now. All right, first let's pull an eBay order and I promise before the end of this video, I'm going to at the very least clean this floor and get some of these boxes broken down. It's getting pretty bad. 
Uh, these Keens were sold on uh, eBay, and uh, they're right here on top. Pick these up, I think, at the Goodwill bins. They're in really great shape. Took a best offer of $27. I think they're listed a little higher than that, being that basically we're out of season here for this type of shoe. I'm willing to take an offer like that on these guys. So 27 plus shipping, let's get them shipped out. So this one was a little bit more expensive to ship and I'm losing maybe $3 on shipping on this one. So it was $15 uh, going to Washington State, which I believe I just looked it up. It looks like it's sort of up by Seattle and Vancouver, like way up there. So it's going quite a ways, 15 bucks. So these will get them. Still making decent money on these because I picked these up at the Goodwill bins. But uh, yeah, still have to be a little bit mindful when you're shipping in the States, regardless if you have different shipping services like, like I do, or if you're just shipping with Canada Post, you know, when things are going further away, it's gonna cost more money regardless. All right, next we sold a pair of jeans on eBay. I took a best offer of $20. I think I had them listed for about 22. Um, let's see here, they're in this bin right here, MJ. Um, I think they're five, they're a pair of Levi 513, that's 516s. Levi's, it's too far down here. It should be these guys right here, Levi 513. So yeah, picked them up at the Goodwill bins, 20 bucks, not too bad. Let's toss these ones back in the bin. All right, let's get these ones shipped out. All right, so we're saving a few bucks on this one. This is going uni uni to Montreal. So this is a shipping courier as well through Stallion Express. It's gonna cost about $5.40. So I'm making a few dollars in shipping here. And that's kind of what I'm talking about when I say it sort of evens out. So I had to overpay a little bit on the Keens, but I'm gonna make a few bucks on these. So overall, overall it usually is a wash and I don't really lose money on shipping, but it's kind of nice that this one's gonna save me a few bucks. So let's pull some Poshmark orders. I actually just had to cancel an order on Poshmark because I didn't have the shoes, they're a pair of Crocs. I'll throw them up on the screen. It is unfortunate, but uh, I did sell these as well. These are a pair of Gore-Tex New Balance. They are uh, Fresh Foam 880s. I think these sold for, I'll throw it up on the screen. I think like 30, 37, 38 bucks, something like that. We'll get them all boxed out and shipped out. And these ones are just going to Toronto uh, with Canada Post from Poshmark. And as always with these ones, I usually just set them aside because these can just go to the uh, regular Canada Post. So now I actually have three US Posh sales right now. I have a Nike Bauer Team Canada jersey. I also have a WCW blanket that sold on Poshmark.com and a 911 Tactical T-shirt that sold on Poshmark.com as well. Um, I have heard back from them about the t the the 1099K um, the tax stuff, right? That's what that's what they want from me. So I, they did reach back to me on the email that I sent to them saying, hey, I'm a Canadian, I'm exempt from this. Um, I had to fill out an extra form. So they sent me a form to fill. It has my, uh, my name, my full name. It has my uh, username on Poshmark. It has my email. Uh, I just wanted to know where I lived and I filled that out, but I'm still waiting for that to happen. When I go and click on any of these, they basically just say, hey, you have to fill out this form so that we can send you your label. So I still haven't been able to do that, which is unfortunate because I missed the boat on at least two of these that I should have got shipped yesterday. The 911 Tactical I just sold uh, today or last night. So it's not such a big deal. It's a pretty new sale. The other two have been sitting now for a little bit. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully by the end of this video, I'll get the okay and get the labels and we can get this Poshmark stuff shipped out. All right, well, we're waiting to hear back from Poshmark. It's probably time that I clean up the floor by the time we get this all cleaned up, I can probably pull some more orders and fingers crossed that Poshmark lets me uh, get my labels here today and we can finish packing those as well. But uh, for now, let's just get this room cleaned up because it's been far, far too long. All right, now I can see all the floor. I'm gonna try to get some of this stuff and put it on the shelf, I think. And then we're gonna work around this rack. I don't wanna take it out of the room, but I do need to work around it just a little bit. So I do have some stuff cleared off of the shelf. And then I've got, just put some mugs and stuff over here. 
I've got the floor cleared out pretty good. Now the problem is this. Now everything's just in the kitchen. So when I put everything back, I just have to make sure it goes in the right place and it's all orderly. Uh, but first, let's get to the floor. All right, so we made some progress. We can walk back through the kitchen. The floor, pretty good. Happy with that. We're only missing Leo's bed. I don't know why she loves to sit and sleep in this thing. Uh, maybe because she is Canadian, but who knows. Uh, got all this cleaned back up, floors cleaned up. Finally got a lid on the shoes. This is my death pile box. So there's the unlisted clothing. There's some video games and stuff in there. But yeah, overall, I would say a lot better. All right, so it is the very next day. And unfortunately, I have not heard back from Poshmark. So I was kind of waiting to hear back. Hopefully I could ship out the rest of that stuff. I've actually sold another item on Poshmark.com, but I still can't do anything about that because I can't get the labels. Uh, now I have reached out to Poshmark on Facebook thinking maybe somebody would talk to me there. Uh, they sent me a message saying, please contact Posh Support. I contacted that bot or whatever maybe it was a person back on Facebook Messenger and said hey I'm actually looking to talk to somebody in person because I'm having this issue and it seems like nobody's getting back to me I've submitted this uh, request twice uh, they did get back to me it was an actual person they said somebody has looked at it please respond to the last email from support so I've done that so I've done everything I can to try to get this expedited um, and I did mention it in our conversation on Facebook as well or Facebook Messenger that uh, I'm a Posh, Poshmark ambassador too not that that makes a big difference um, but I'm trying to keep that status so if you could please help me I would appreciate it so I don't really know what's up with that I do have a couple more orders I can pull I think I have an eBay order and a Poshmark CA order so let's get those pulled and then we can wrap this video up. All right, we got another eBay order to pull here. As you can see, Leo has took her rightful place, sleeping what looks to be on her head in this box. Um, but we have sold, it's in, hmm, I think it's gonna be in this one. LPS is uh, leggings, pants, and shorts. <laughs> That's the abbreviation, and it's these pants. Now they are a pair of CCM splash pants. Uh, I'll throw the, the listing up on these. They I think they zip at the leg too, but or the knee or not yeah, the, the side or something like that. These are pretty nice. Found these at the Goodwill bins. <laughs> Would not have paid even a dollar for these. I did take a best offer of 30. I think I had them listed for like 37 or something like that. 38. Uh had lots of offers. So I got a $30 offer on these ones and I decided to take it. So these splash pants are going all the way to Texas. And they went, uh, they were less than a pound. I think they were like 14 ounces. So they went United States Postal Service lightweight parcel and it only cost $6.55 through Stallion Express. All right, we got a Poshmark order here. And I think this will leave us with just one more of these characters. So I did have a whole box of them, but this is Kramer, Good Cop. I don't really know what, who do you think or what is he holding? I don't remember this episode to be honest. But uh, yeah, I think this, I took a best offer on this one of like $10. Just trying to move out the rest of the Funkos that I do have. And uh, yeah, happy to see this one go. So this one will be going Canada Post expedited all the way to Saskatchewan. Buyer pays shipping on Poshmark. And uh, yeah, that one can just go to the regular Canada Post drop off. All right, we actually do have one more eBay order and hopefully it's on top here. Um, you guys see me pick this up just recently. It's the Boyd Bears uh throw blanket here uh this one i thought i was gonna get 40 bucks for it but it does have a repair i'll throw a picture of the repair up now i don't really want to unfold it um so i did decide to take a best offer of 30 dollars on this one but being that it came from the goodwill bins i'm still pretty happy about this blanket sale all right so this one's going out to north carolina ups ground advantage for 11 dollars and 30 cents buyer paid nine dollars so i'm paying a few bucks extra for shipping but still happy to see this blanket go I was about to pack up my shipping station here and then I just had one more order come in. It was at Poshmark.ca, so let's grab that one. So there were these Reeboks. I've had them for a while now. They are brand new spikeless. Uh, these sold on Poshmark, so we'll get them shipped out right away here. I already have a box uh, built for them, so we're already halfway there. So these ones I picked up for about $6 at Salvation Army in Tilsonburg sometime last year. It might have even been in a video. Um, but regardless, these ones are going to BC 
on Poshmark, through Poshmark, so it's Canada Post expedited buyer pay shipping. We'll try to be quiet here not to wake up the cat who clearly could care less what I'm doing in her. I'm walking in and out grabbing stuff and she's just gonna sleep her little life away, but very cute. Um, yeah, so hopefully hopefully, really soon we get the Poshmark thing rectified. I've, I don't remember having this much issue last time. Like I know once before last year, I had to verify that I was a Canadian and that I was exempt from uh, taxes in the US, but I'm having a hard time. So hopefully we get that cleared up. I keep making sales on .com, Poshmark.com that is. Um, but I, I can't get the labels without, you know, bypassing this part of their system. So, you know, I will update you. Hopefully in tomorrow's video, I have some better news from you. And, uh, if you guys like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content and we'll see you tomorrow.